So the purpose of this video is not to make a comprehensive report, but just to give some overall impressions. Uh, like all the new codexes, this is color. And uh, in fact, uh, the Tomb Kings was kind of like a sepia thing, which I hardly counted as color, but this definitely is a little more vibrant. All right, so um, let me just tell you what I think is awesome. First off, in the magic items, which I haven't read all the way through, um, there, is, there is one item that I think you'll see in every single army without any exception, and that is the sacred Stegodon Helm of Itza. This item gives plus one to the armor save, plus one toughness, and impact hits D3, all for 40 points. And that is just ridiculously awesome, if you ask me. So I haven't looked too much at the other ones. Uh, you've got the Egg of Kwongo, which is kind of a weird thing. And uh, all right, let's go on to... So I've talked, and you know what, I've talked a lot about the new models. You've got the Bastilladon, uh, which by the way is on a chariot base. This is not, this guy is not overly huge. It's about Stegodon sized. And then of course they have a bunch of new uh, heroes, right? So, and by the way, the Stegodon helm is great looking. In fact, I'll probably use Chakox as my, as my general on foot. Um, so, and then there's this, this makes the troglodon and also a, uh, a whatever it is, a carnosaur. So let's go, yeah, here's the carnosaur. Yeah, pretty awesome. Oh my gosh, lizard men are so good. All right, so first off, um, let's take a look at the, uh, Saurus Old Blood. He can be mounted on a carnosaur. He's a lord. And uh, let's go ahead and, and you'll notice character mounts do not include the troglodon. So I, I was wrong. I thought it would be a mount for a skink priest or something like that, but it, it is not. Uh, so if in fact, if we flip over to rare units, you've got Rajadons and Salamanders, no big surprise there. Ancient Stegodon, also no surprise. Now I look at the points cost because I like to pay, play 2,500 and that's actually a pretty, uh, pretty common points level. Uh, but that caps your rares at 625. So unfortunately, this doesn't add up quite very nicely because uh, of 230. So 200 plus another one at 200 plus 230 would make it 630. So just over points. So not so awesome. Uh, but, you know, that's like in the scenario where you try and max out these big guys. The Troglodon's fa absolutely fantastic. I, uh, I, I, I like it a lot. Uh, it has poison attacks. Um, it also has, um, it has this spit attack, which I think is really cool. Um, in fact, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things that that does. Um, so the spit attack is, let's see if I can find it. Come on now. Why are you being that way? Okay, there you go. Troglodons. It's 18 inches, strength 5, multiple wounds and quick to fire. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, you can upgrade the rider to have a divining rod, which allows him to channel. And that's, I don't think that's great. That's really, 15 points for that, I say no thank you. Um, so once per battle, they can do primeval roar, which gives uh, units with predatory fighter the successful additional attack on a five or six instead of just six. What is that, you ask? Uh, big change to the lizardmen is that the um, a lot of the troops, uh, notably the Saurus Warriors and the Temple Guard, have Predatory Fighter. So if they roll a six to hit, they get another attack. And that, that doesn't stack. You can't keep getting attacks beyond that first stage. Uh, but it definitely, so for example, take a five wide unit of Saurus Warriors. The front rank has two attacks each. So that's 10. Second rank adds five. Uh, champ puts you up to 16. That's basically about three bonus attacks, and I have a feeling that is really gonna that is really gonna uh, uh, change the battles. Uh, it 
that that little bit extra can really swing it sometimes. Uh, so they still have two attacks. They still have an awesome stat line. Plus they got Predatory Fighter. They're only 11 points a model. Hand Weapon Shield for a parry save is fantastic. They've finally done the math about spears where they did they don't make spears cost any extra. So it's really, do you want that parry save or do you want an extra rank of attacks? And to me that 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 about evens out. Uh, so right now for me, I'm kind of like, well, I might take spears or I might take the hand weapon shield. They got scaly skin and a shield that get, puts them at a, a respectable four up save. So Saurus warriors, ah, those guys are awesome. So, and then of course you can take skinks or skink skirmishers. Uh, skinks have toughness too, like always, and they're not, I don't think they're that great. So, you know, but they can take crocs gores in the unit and, uh, you know, I, I, I really don't know what to make of it. Maybe someone smarter than me can speak to that. Temple Guard, still awesome. They have Predatory Fighter now. Uh, to me, it looks like basically they're the, they're the exact same stat line. They can take a magic standard. Uh, something that's really changed is Jungle Swarms. And you might actually see Jungle Swarms back because of their Everywhere special rule. And that is the name of the special rule. It's their Everywhere. And so what that means is if they are in base contact with a unit and uh, another friendly unit is in base contact, uh, they, uh, they give poisoned attacks to that other unit. So let me just read it. Whilst an enemy unit is in base contact with one or more jungle swarms, all close combat attacks directed against the enemy have the poisoned attacks special rule. So that's pretty awesome, actually. And uh, they're 35 points each. You, can, you only need two. So you might actually see jungle swarms coming back uh, because there's synergy with them now. They don't, they're, they're not just some kind of, you know, uh, thing where they, um, you know, try and go and swamp some unit or delay a unit, which is not awesome. Uh, Ripper Dactyls, um, I predict you're going to see a lot of Ripper Dactyls, and let me tell you why. Uh, first off, um, I, I don't know what the points cost is, like 30, four, 30 or 40 points each, so they are pretty expensive, uh, but they're flying cavalry, and what happens is, in the kit, apparently you get this little toad model called the Blot Toad. Let's take a focus in on him. So what, at the beginning of the game, you, well, one of the skinks has infiltrated an enemy unit and planted this toad on them, and it drives the Ripper Dactyls nuts. So if the Ripper Dactyls charge the unit that's been marked with the toad, uh, their frenzy gives them uh, D3 plus one extra attacks instead of just one roll once for the whole unit. So I, I just want to say, so let's say you had a unit of six of them. So, uh, and they charged in. Normally the Ripper Dactyls would get two attacks each at strength five. They're, they're kind of like giant, they're kind of like giant eagles, but they're only toughness three. And by the way, that's the downside. They're only a six up save, toughness three. So, but they, they have armor piercing, fear, frenzy. Oh, and as if that weren't enough, they have killing blow. So... I have a feeling, I mean, this is like, an, this is an amazing shock unit. You have to deal with these guys. That, oh, I, I think you're going to see them. I think you're going to see a lot of Ripper Dactyls. And uh, they kind of have a cool name, too. The, uh, the models are a little kooky, but uh, I can definitely get past that. I can't blame anyone for uh, using their creativity. So uh, think about this. So they have two attacks. D3 plus one extra attacks, so let's call that an average of two, plus one is three. So they'd each have five attacks. So basically a unit of six would have 30 attacks against this unit. And uh, all, all strength four, and, and, are you ready? Killing blow. So I just, oh my gosh, these guys can just frontal assault an enemy unit and just blow up enemy characters. You have to deal with them. So uh, Pterodon Riders now can take Fire Leech Bolas, which are pretty cool. Uh, they get Flaming Attacks, which is a big deal because you see a lot of re uh, regeneration nowadays. Uh, so I'm, I, okay, so let's talk about the Bastilodon 
And uh, that, that might actually be it for me because I just read those few things. So first off, the Bastilodon, let's, uh, let's go find him back here. The Bastilodon has a two up armor save, so that's pretty cool. They weigh in at 150 points. And you can do two different versions of them. There is the, um, there is the uh, Ark of Sotek. Sotek's the serpent god, so it like dumps these snakes out, right? And, uh, yeah. So the Ark of Sotek actually adds to the swarms. On a 4-up, it adds a swarm base. So I, I don't think that's that big of a deal. Um, but the Bastilodon will uh, affect, can send out like this wave of snakes that does 2d6 strength 2 hits in a d6 inch radius. So even if it marched, charged, or is engaged in close combat. So the Bastilodon, the snake Bastilodon is, is okay. Uh, personally, I really, I really like this, uh, this one where it has the, um, uh, hold on, what's it called? Thunderous Arc of Sotek. Solar Engine is the name of the beam weapon one. And it's a, it's a bound spell, not normally a fan, but it's only a three, so you just got to throw one power dice on it. On three up, it goes off. And so, you know, uh, that's, that's not bad. And um, so you roll a d6, and you can get, uh, like on a four or a five, it does 2d6 strength five hits. Boy, you just can't ignore that. You will have to dispel that with at least two dice every time. And uh, you've got, uh, on a 6, it does 2d6 strength 6 hits, plus penalties. So uh, it's pretty cool. And the Bastilodon has a tail attack that's strength 10. And I, I, I just, I think the Bastilodons are really cool. So, um, you know, if I, were, if I were doing a Lizardman army, okay, here's my dream Lizardman army. Are you ready? Uh, let's do the characters last. Uh, first off, I do... Um, I do about 40 Saurus Warriors, probably 20, with, 20 or 30 with shields, 20 or 30 with spears. So there you go. Uh, let's say 50 of them at 11 points a model plus command puts me up to my 625 minimum. And uh, maybe throw in a couple units of skirmishers just for the heck of it. Uh, definitely Temple Guard. Um, I haven't really read the uh, Slawn, but uh, you do need a level 4 wizard, pretty much mandatory nowadays. So, quite frankly, I'll probably have a Salon and Temple Guard in mind. And Temple Guard are an absolute must. They're absolute beasts, so I say yes to that. Uh, I will throw in a couple Jungle Storms just to uh, check them out. Uh, Cold One Riders, still 30 points each. So, I say yikes to Cold One Riders. And quite frankly, other than Predatory Fighter, which they all uh, have now, uh, they didn't, I, I don't think they really did anything for Cold One Riders. So I just, quite frankly, want to cry. I just want to cry for Cold One Riders. All right, but I could be wrong. Uh, okay, um, in specials, I am going to, um, you know, a Stegodon would be great, but I think I'm going to go for the new candy and um, get a, um, you could probably magnetize on that back thing, but I do the solar engine. Uh, definitely like that. I might even get two of those. Definitely Ripper Dactyls. Uh, those things are crazy. Cra just so dangerous. Why? Why are they so dangerous? So uh, definitely going to... I'd probably try three, maybe do six. So, uh, guy, how many points are we at now, by the way? So we've got... Uh, let's go ahead and allocate 600 for characters. Why not? Another 600 for the Saurus Warriors. That puts us at 1,200. Uh, unit of Skirmishers, we'll call that 13. Uh, temple Guard uh, with Command, that brings us to 1,500. Uh, we'll call it 1,600 for the Jungle Swarms. And uh, where are we? Uh, 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 you know, I would get two Bastilodons. They're just, they're just really cool, so that's 1,900. Um, and then Ripper Dactyls would put us at about a uh, unit of three. Let's call that 2,000 even. Ooh, see how fun this gets really fast. Um, and then Ancient Stegodon's pretty cool. Uh, but again, new candy. New candy. Um, you know, I haven't looked at the Salamanders or Razor Dons, so I have absolutely no idea if they've changed. Uh, but definitely need a Troglodon, so I'm at 2200. 
So that is that is how I would start my lizard bin. Uh, Troglodon is really cool. And um, so you go over here, you've got your uh, Salon Mage Priest. can still be the BSB. Uh, you can still take disciplines, uh, four disciplines. There's a limit of 150, but if you actually look at the disciplines, there's almost no way to go over 150 points, only taking four. They usually only cost like 30 points. Uh, the big one is a uh, higher state of consciousness, which is 60, and he can't join a unit and is ethereal. So unless you take that one, you can basically, you, you won't go over points with that. And in fact, uh, 600 points might not be enough for your, might not be enough for your heroes, and you could bring it up to a nice uh, 2,500. So um, one thing you got to look for is uh, uh, miscast manipulation, which you have with Soul of Stone, allowing you to bump it up or down one. Uh, but not ignore it. Um, and uh, Harmonic Conversion allows you to roll another two dice for channel. That might be okay, but 30 points. Yikes. Um, now, you can't have Lore Master for any lore, which I think you used to be able to do. Uh, but you can have Wandering Deliberations, which gives you the signature spell of all eight lores. So I'm not uh, educated enough to tell you what that means. Uh, however, you can have Focus of Mystery, which makes you a lore master of high magic. And uh, like uh, high elves, they do get uh, high magic. However, the lore attribute, I think, is uh, a little bit different. It's uh, Contemplations. Uh, so, And in fact, in high elves, it uh, makes it so their ward save is better. Uh, but uh, let's see. Um, it says, let's see can choose to forget that spell at the end of his magic phase. Yikes. Must immediately generate a replacement spell from any of the spell lores he can normally use for each spell forgotten in this manner. Okay. Or a different lore. We'll always use that spell's lore attribute. It's also possible to blah, blah, blah. All right, well, anyway, uh, yeah, that's, that's weird. That's too weird for me to understand right now. All right, well, uh, that's basically my impression of the Lizardmen book. Uh, I'm going to call it Complete Candy, and uh, I cannot possibly put together a Lizardmen army fast enough. I'm, uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty stoked. Um, you know, maybe if somebody is interested in uh, doing one at the same time as me, uh, you should get in touch, and uh, we, can, we, can make a, we can make a twin army, uh, which I think would be, would be a lot of fun. All right, uh, folks, that is all I have for you. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed, gotten your inspiration for the day. And um, like me, you might just uh, all of a sudden be really, uh, really stoked about Lizard Men. Awesome.